Hey guys, Tim here from Project SSV. Um, tonight we're going to be trying something a little bit different to what I normally do. Um, we're going to try and respray this strut brace for Project SSV. Um, I actually won it on an online competition um, that the, the guys on Facebook were running from the Holden Commodore SS Fan Club page. So massive shout out to them and thank you for the prize. Um, I was actually talking to them the other day and we thought that since the car is actually wildfire, the red strut brace is really going to sort of stand out a bit like a sore thumb. So we're going to try and sand it down and actually try and colour match it to the car. So I thought I'll get a start on that tonight while I've got a bit of spare time. Um, it's interesting though because the actual colour for the car is... Uh, it's a two-part colour so we have a base coat for the wildfire and then once we've applied the base coat I actually have to go and apply this other one which has got the I'm not sure if you can really see it but sort of the metallic pearl in there as well so it's going to be a two-part process to actually paint this um, and then of course we'll finish it off with a, a clear coat over the top just to make it nice and shiny so yeah, I'm gonna get a start on sanding it tonight and hopefully we can get it on by the weekend. We're actually going out, there's a few of us with some cars going for a bit of a, a cruise on Saturday night with, and get some photos. So fingers crossed we can have it all done before then. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we're all done now, finished sanding it. Probably took me about an hour and a half all up. Just made sure I got all of that gloss off it. So it's nice and rough, ready for the um, ready for the primer to go on. Probably do that tomorrow. Let that dry, give it a light sand, and um, if I get time, I might put a put a base coat on it. It's um. It's actually, it's an interesting strut brace. It's the only one I've seen that's actually like this. And it's, to my knowledge, the only one that you don't actually have to drill holes into the, into the strut towers for it to actually mount it. It just mounts onto existing points that are already on the cars. It's um, for the G8s, but obviously here in Australia, it's the Commodores. But um, yeah, all right, we'll bring on tomorrow and um, get the primer and base coats on. But so, I got a bit carried away last night. Um, ended up putting down one layer of primer on the strut brace. Um, let it dry overnight. Came back this afternoon when I got home from work. Sanded it down, put another, another coat on it. It came up pretty good. I, there's a couple of little spots there where the paint ran a bit and also, ugh, Underneath, I don't know if you can see, you might just be able to see it where it's run there a little bit as well. But otherwise, it's um, pretty good. I'm quite happy with it all up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll sand this down again now. Um, see how it comes up. If I can get another coat on it today, I will. But if I'm happy with it once I've sanded it, then um, we might just go ahead and put the base coat on. So I guess we'll see. And um, Got a bit carried away, so I went to Bunnings, got a few drop sheets. So I'll step back a bit here. Got my trusty work light up there. Got a few drop sheets and set up myself a little spray painting booth in the garage because it is wet outside and will be for the rest of the week. So if I want any hope of being able to finish this thing before then, I'll, um, yeah, this is the only way I'll be doing it. So yeah, we'll get to sanding and see how it comes up.
So we finished sanding it. It um it came up quite nice. It went through the through the primer in a couple of spots, but that's all going to be covered up anyway with a few layers of base coat, so I'm not too worried about that. The rest of it's quite good. Just got to get all the dust off it now, and um, yeah, we'll get it in. Might actually get the first one or two layers of base coat on tonight, which will be exciting. All right, before we do even get started on the base coat, what we're going to do first is actually just use a bit of wax and grease remover, um, spray it over, give it a wipe down, get rid of any residue from the sanding on it. Um, it's pretty fast drying, so we'll, while that's happening, we'll um, put a bit of string up um, so that we can hang the, the brace from, from some supports up the top so that when we're spraying, we can get the whole lot in one hit without having to turn it over or touch it at all. So we'll get, get a start on that. Clean cloth, give that a wipe. Quite good. Alright. There we go. All clean, wiped down. Probably you can't really see it too well in the light, but um yeah, we'll go put this aside, hang it, set some string up, hang it up and get this first layer down. <laughs> 